Welcome to the first daily dose of Data Warehouse Cloud. We will start our journey taking a look at the Data Warehouse Cloud. And today, before we start looking at spaces, let's start clarifying a few of the terms that you will see. So you can see on the left hand side, the Data Warehouse Cloud, we do have a business catalog. We do have a story builder, which is basically the BI stories from SAP Analytics Cloud. We have a data builder, which is where we will do all our data modeling. We have a data integration monitor. We will take a look at that in our next session. And we have the concept of spaces. So spaces are a very, very fundamental part in the data warehouse cloud. So let's clarify what spaces are. So first of all, spaces are basically an isolated work area. You can assign storage already and in future looking at adding compute power and being able to assign it. You can assign a priority. We will take a look at it. Users and connections and you have monitoring and auditing options. So let's build our first space. So we are in the space management. We simply say we want to add a new space into data warehouse cloud and then we can start configuring the details so you can see the first item we can configure essentially how much storage we want to allocate to our space so we leave the default of two gig with one gig in memory and then the space priority so right now we configured it as the highest priority. The space priority becomes important when, for example, multiple users have multiple connections and sending multiple requests to the system. So that's where the space priority plays an important role. So we can assign members, so our users and roles to the space. Uh, we can also assign a connection in our case, we already have a agent configured for the system, but we need to assign a connection to our space. So in this case, we're going to add a connection to our HANA on-premise system, and then we will basically import tables from HANA into Data Warehouse Cloud. So we simply configure the details here. So we enter our HANA server, the port, the user, and the password. And then we can validate that this connection actually works. So as soon as we have the connection, we can actually go into the data builder and we say that we want to build a new entity relationship model. It's really just for now to check that the connection works. So we go to the sources and on the left hand side, you can see we can open up the list of connections we are in our demo spaces area you can see that on the top so now we open up the list of connections we have the hana entry we can go to our demo schema here and then see the list of tables we can drag and drop the table into our model so we can see the connection works we can see it we can connect to it so this is really all what we need for now right now on the administration part you can see we already did configure a data provisioning agent so you can see the details here kind of like you know we already linked it up and it has the ABAP, the hana and the sql server option configured which we will use all in a separate session so this was a quick intro into spaces and in our next session, we will use the spice, use the connection, bring in the table and then start the modeling inside of Data Warehouse Cloud. I want to say thank you for watching and listening.